everyone in this session we're going to see how to share the files or folders from Windows machine to Oracle VM box virtual box where this is uh, you know, required for softwares that we want to use it so the first thing that we need to do is uh, to share we have to get to the device after you install your uh, virtual box operating system in this case uh, Linux right. so just click on the devices and install guest edition CD image just click on that it's going to get all the files that are required for uh, guest editions and it's going to create this folder on the desktop and it opens this box the moment you're done clicking with that option anywhere in this folder like any white spot you can click the left button of your mouse and then say open in terminal so basically this is going to take you to the folder where all the files are available uh, to complete our guest editions installation so you can use uh, since this is the Linux one you can select that and use that one and say enter so it's going to do all that stuff that is required to complete the installation part so vbox Linux editions will get installed so I'm not going to run that because it's already run on my machine so once you complete with that then come back and share the folder that you are planning to share with uh, you know uh, the software download with the software where you have installed and all that so let's say for example in this case I have uh, shared this 54 folder you can you know if it's not shared already you can go ahead and share with you know uh, since you are only the one going to use that machine you can use it or maybe specific user you can share so you can share that so once you done with share and take the path and copy the path from here control C and coming on to virtual box you can click on the device tab the same one we have used to install guest editions and look at here this is the shared folder settings that you can click on it and you can add the one which you have just copied the folder you want to share okay so here you can say my share okay my share some name that you can provide and if you want to make this share permanent through through your uh, reboots and all that you can do that and you can say hey this should be auto amount so that it will be available even when you reboot the machine okay so once you get that say okay and to see that information you can do it manually mount it so the easiest way I see like just you know reboot it since we have selected to mount it automatically the option that we have selected during the share will make that share folder available onto your virtual box as soon as you are, uh, you are done uh, rebooting the machine and that's going to sustain because uh, you want to make that share permanent so that's how basically you know it's a couple of, couple of uh, clicks away from sharing folders from your Windows machine uh, to your uh, uh, Linux virtual boxes so this this com this comes in handy uh, even when you are uh, you know uh, in your in corporate world so generally in corporate world we'll be using Linux machines there we use NFS share okay so in case if you end up having you know there are you know other corporates they use Windows machines where you can download all the software like stage it over there and you can share it to any uh, Linux uh, virtual boxes so easily you can do this uh, by the way I have shown you in this video so that hopefully that comes you know um, handy when you want to share because the other option basically you have to copy from uh, the stage location to the destination where you want to use that particular software so definitely that is going to create redundancy because if you have many servers uh, where you wanted to use the software so copying is kind of redundant it's a, it's a space wastage and time taking too so basically you know you share the folder on whichever server you wanted to uh, install or use the software or maybe files that you want to view 
and uh, this will really really come in handy so once we done uh, a reboot we should be able to see the folder we are almost there restart and there are commands that you can use it mount and all that I feel like you know just reboot once uh, it's it's available so you don't need to worry too much about the options and stuff like that so once we log in let's say username and put the password and open the terminal to see the folder that we want to share okay so that we have used like you know, my share or something like that yeah this is the my share folder that I want to use it for my software so I copy and then paste that path over there and if I see here here we go so from here so we can start using the stuff which is available from your Windows machine to Linux box so I hope this helps in sharing the software files that you want to share on to Linux box from Windows thank you folks for your time and uh, I'll see you back with uh, some other interesting video later Bye now.